Hello and welcome to a satisfactory tutorial video in which I will be explaining step by step how you can make a 45 degree angled wall for your builds and specifically a skybox as you can see in here. Let's get started shall we? Also don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe button for future content updates. To get your 45 degree angled corner for your builds you first need to create a 90 degree angled corner so we're first going to place some foundations like so to create a nice little 90 degree corner as we see over here now the next thing we need to do is go into architect under attachments and grab the road barrier we need to place the road barrier on the far side of the foundation like so i'm using the fix it foundations as you can see so it's easier for you to distinguish the corners of the foundations now what we need to do is rotate the barrier by three clicks with our mouse wheel small little tip for the builders out there the barrier row barrier will always rotate on a 50 degree angle so three ticks of your mouse wheel make it 45 degrees now the next thing we need to do is place a second row barrier next to the placed row barrier on the foundation like so. This row barrier will be used to align our foundation to the 45 degree angle we're making right here. Now do the same thing on the other side. Place your row barrier on the farther side of the foundation like so. Rotate it three times to get it on a 45 degree angle. Place it down and place your second row barrier in the middle. As you can see now, the row barriers are a little bit overlapping, but that's a no issue at all because we're actually going to remove those row barriers in a little while. Now grab yourself a foundation. Get that foundation aligned to the second row barrier that you placed in the middle of the corner. And as you can see now, the foundation that we're going to place is actually in alignment on a 45 degree with the foundation on the outside the L shape that we made now place down your foundation do the same thing on the other side as well so align it to the second row barrier in the middle that you place and place down the foundation now remove your row barriers like so and now essentially you've created the nice 45 degree angle as you can see over here the next thing we can do is create walls on our foundations to close off this nice little 45 degree corner like so. The nice thing about this building technique as you can see right now with the walls is you're actually closing off the outside with the inside because the foundations are actually perfectly aligned with the other uh, foundations, the 90 degree foundations. What you then can do is put the foundations on the inside to actually complete your corner that you made like so. So now you've got a perfectly functional 45 degree corner of your build. What I would suggest in this case instead of using the fix it foundations is use the concrete foundations so the clipping that you see is not that obvious as you can see now you still see some little flickering because the foundations are overlapping with each other but it's far less noticeable than when you use a fix it foundation and also a nice little trick instead of using walls we can use glass windows for this so if we remove the walls like so we can place down some windows for example the full frame windows to actually create a nice little windowed corner like so the next step you can apply is to create a roof on top of this build and actually align that with the wall piece so we're going to architect get a glass roof place that on the corners the 90 degree foundations like so on either side and now you've got a nice little gap here in the middle what you now need to do is go to walls 
grab the tilted corner wall of 4 meters and align that with the roof piece you placed down. Place down the corner wall and you now actually closed off that little gap as well. And if you want, you can change that color to, for example, black to actually fit it with the roof pieces, as you can see here. I hope this tutorial was a little helpful for you. And if you've got any questions, please leave down a comment. Also, click that thumbs up and subscribe to the video for future updates as well. And I hope to see you next time. See you later.